brought the tears, but I love that guy. I hope to live to 100. Maybe maybe pineapples are the secret. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> He's selling them for $5. That's all, you, all it takes. That's all, that's all it takes. Five bucks. You live forever. <laughs> if you plan to get out, maybe buy some pineapples this morning. It's a beautiful morning. Lots of sunshine. Warm and muggy. Do it now because we do have rain and storms moving in during the late afternoon and evening. That will give us some relief from all this oppressive heat. So it's still going to be blazing hot today, but tomorrow that changes. A little more manageable heat and humidity makes a return. And it sticks around next week. High temperatures still talking lower 90s starting tomorrow and lasting through next week with daily storm chances in the mix basically every single day, which we did not see last week. We saw lots of dry weather. Speaking of dry, that's how the morning basically looks. Plenty of sunshine, some clouds, a couple stray showers happening in Lower Plaquemines Parish right now. So there might be some coastal showers around during the morning. It's going to be a hot and sticky first few hours. Temperatures can still make it into the mid, maybe upper 90s, feeling like probably 110 this afternoon. And again, high temperatures area wide have a good bet at mid and upper 90s despite the rainfall coming in. It's just going to happen later than usual, actually probably later afternoon. So we still have the chance to see these very hot temperatures. So make sure you stay cool. If you plan to be out, drink plenty of water. Feeling like around 108 to 112 this afternoon. That's our heat index. That's why we have the heat advisory again today from 12 to 7. Though I think tomorrow we don't have to worry about a heat advisory, but we do have some rounds of rain coming our way starting the second half of today and continuing to tomorrow. Precision cast showing the widespread rain and storm coverage coming into the area probably during the later afternoon hours. There might be some popping up during the mid afternoon, but this is four or five o'clock. You see it's more widespread and we can get those steady and soaking downpours. Times of heavy rain are possible during the evening. And if you do have nighttime plans, this is 10 o'clock tonight. We still have some showers around. So kind of keep that in mind. Make sure you drive carefully, especially if you get stuck under one of these heavy downpours. Heading into tomorrow morning, there might be some showers around to start the day. It's not going to be a washout today or tomorrow, but we'll have scattered storms on the menu for your Sunday. And you can still see those rounds of heavy rain possible heading into Sunday afternoon as well. Still going to be a hit or miss variety, but a couple storms can end up being on the stronger side today. Only a level one out of five risk highlighted here in green. The marginal risk couple storms might be able to produce some stronger wind gusts, maybe some small hail, some heavy rain and maybe some frequent lightning. Rainfall totals can vary quite a bit depending on how the storms move, how they set up anywhere from one to two inches. But again, locally higher amounts are possible. That's why we have this flooding rain outlook in effect today. It's a level one out of five, a marginal risk for flooding rain for your Saturday. So isolated street flooding can't be ruled out today. Unfortunately, just kind of keep that in mind if you'll be going around. But this probably won't start happening till later this afternoon through the evening and then tomorrow. A little bit lower, a little bit less of the area under a marginal risk for some flooding rain, but still it's here. A couple cases of isolated street flooding are again possible tomorrow. Still maybe some heavier downpours. Quick look at the tropics. Here is Tropical Storm Don. Not going to pose any threat to any land areas, but it's the tropical wave now. We have very close uh, eyes on at this point because, well, it's an area of investigation. Invest 95L. National Hurricane Center giving this a 70% chance for development in the next week. So it can become our next tropical depression, maybe our next name storm, which is Emily, but we'll have to watch it and see. It's still expected to move to the west over the next few days, over the next week, really. Spaghetti models keep that consensus together that it heads towards the west into the Caribbean during the second half of next week. But it's going to pass through the Lesser Antilles, and this is a look at our European model. There can be quite a bit of rainfall that passes through the Lesser Antilles heading into the early part of this week. I don't think this storm is going to blow up into a huge major concern for the Caribbean. There's a lot of dry air that's helping to limit its development, but nonetheless, some more moisture heading towards the Caribbean early this week. Lesser Antilles have to pay attention to that. Maybe some disturbed weather, but it kind of stays on this westerly motion towards Central America during the second half, the later, the latter half of next week. So we'll continue to monitor it, but it looks like right now we don't really have to worry about this here at home. So there's no local tropical concerns along the Gulf South or in the U.S. Here's that seven day forecast. Temperature is hot today, but a little better next week. Lower 90s with daily rain and storms. Thank you, Alexa. Now to the story from sport, the sports